Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if you are an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back, mi amor. I love you, I love you, I love you. Now let's jump right into this video. Hey guys, so the reason why I called you today, you know, to come and chit chat with me on my channel, you know, make sure you turn on your post notifications. So when I call, you get that email that's like ring ring. Her boy is calling. Go check her out. It's because I wanted to talk to you all about something that's really important to me. You guys know that I share a lot about myself. I share a lot about my journey here on earth with you all because I feel that one, we can relate. <laughs> Let me know I'm not the only one, you know, going through this journey. And two, I love your um, I love interacting with you guys. So I figured that I need to share this part of my life as well. So let's just get into this because I almost feel like, I almost feel like I'm being a sellout. And, and let me explain why I feel that way and why I shouldn't feel that way because it's something that's that's really good for me that um, the change that I have to make is really, really good for me and I should not feel like a sellout, but I do. You guys know I love my body, right? I love my body. And it has taken me a very long time to get to this, to get to this point in my life where I don't give a shit if you think that I'm fat, right? I don't care because I love my body. I love who I am. I no longer wake up in the morning and the first thing I think about is my weight. I don't do that. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I think about now is, goddamn, my knees hurt. <laughs> but we're going to get into that in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I have built myself up to love myself where I am right now because what else am I gonna do? It's really no fun walking around this earth and every day you don't like what you physically look like but you're stuck looking that way. You know what I mean? So it was like, no, if, if I'm not gonna do everything I need to do to lose weight, right? Then I'm gonna love myself right now. I'm gonna love who I am today and i'm not gonna love myself when i lose weight i'm not gonna love myself when i graduate school no 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 no. i'm gonna love who i am today and i pride myself on that and it has taken me a long time to to do that to understand that you know what i mean that you only live one life and i'd be damned if i live this life hating myself you know so here i am loving myself all willy-nilly right <laughs> not caring about what i what i'm eating you know because it it, it it was to a point that when i would eat something i would literally like become depressed like my um relationship with food was becoming toxic and it's not like i can stop eating i have to eat right because i want to live so i just said you know what whatever i'm just gonna eat and i'm not gonna think too much about what i'm eating because it stresses me out Right? If I have to be like, oh no, I'm not gonna eat this. If I go to a party, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that. No, I was just like, I'm just gonna eat whatever, make sure I don't eat too much of it and keep it pushing. However, I forgot one key point. And that was that I am not like super, I'm not very active physically, right? So I think that is the reason why I gain weight because I'm not really active physically. Yes, I am active, meaning, you know, school and YouTube and just everything else that's going on in my life. But I don't go to the gym because I that's just not a place that I like to be. I'm sorry, I don't, okay? Um, you know, I don't take the train and stuff because I get driven to school. <laughs> so I figured that's what the problem was right but again i didn't pay too much attention to it because i am a straight a student and i'm not gonna let weight define who i am i'm not gonna let my i'm not gonna let i have so many great qualities that i was not gonna allow something like weight to bring my self-esteem down okay so i was just going about my life going about my life then my knees started to hurt <laughs> my knees started to hurt real bad but i said you know what i'm 
just gonna keep living this life, doing what I gotta do because it ain't like I walk anyway. I get driven everywhere. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then when I do have to walk from campus to campus, I'm out of breath. If I have to walk up a hill, I will fight you. Like if you take me somewhere where I have to walk up a hill, I will fight you. You gonna have to fight me right there, right now. <laughs> like don't play with me with no hills, y'all. I mean, I'm out of breath. I'm getting nauseous. Like physical activity was making me sick. And, and I'm like, wait a minute, that don't make no sense. Physical activity isn't making me sick. It's the lack of physical activity combined with, with my weight. That's what's making me physically sick. So all of a sudden while I'm having all these thoughts, but I'm still like suppressing them because um, whenever I go on any type of diet or anything like that, I get depressed. I'm, I just gotta keep it real. So, which was another reason why I just said, uh -uh. I ain't even gonna worry about that. I'm gonna worry about other stuff. So I just suppressed these thoughts of, okay, Santusha, you know, your body's starting to hurt. I think it's a direct correlation with your weight because the minute I hit over 220 pounds, baby girl, my body said, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Miss Five Two. What you gonna do with all this weight? Let me know because my five two frame is telling me that I can handle all this weight, right? But I'm I'm not listening. I'm not listening. But then all of a sudden I'm getting these emails from companies like What Waste and this other company. Um, the other company wants to send me like a wristwatch so I can you know check my heart rate and tell me how many steps I want to take or whatever. What Waste is a um, workout band, and you know it's offering me these products for free, and I'm like what in the universe is making all these things come to me that's telling me that i need to get on this fitness journey that i need to um get healthy again you know like all these signs are hitting me like you know i'm being asked to go to the gym i'm like don't ask me to go to the gym did you just curse at me but i'm getting invitations to go work out i'm getting free personal training um invitations and i'm like oh my god Oh my God, universe, why are you trying to tell me what I already know, but I do not want to face, okay? And then I'm also wondering, like, am I the only plus size girl that's having these physical issues? Because, you know, all of our, all of us plus size influencers, um, we really glamorize loving yourself. And and no matter what, that, that is my first, um, that's the first thing. And whatever I do is I always want to promote loving yourself no matter what stage you are in life, right? We promote loving yourself, we promote looking sexy, hell yes. We promote all these beautiful, great things. That's the truth. But nobody's talking about the dark side of being plus size. So here I am. Let me cover myself up. Here I am with an invitation to the gym right and when all these things are coming your way to help you out on something that you need you can't just let it you know fly by so here i am with an invitation to the gym and i decide to go but actually i get tricked into going to the gym <laughs> and it's really sad that i got tricked into going to the gym that's so sad but nevertheless i ended up at the gym y'all and I was so excited once I got there because I could try on my waistband. So I tried on my waistband. I loved it, guys. So the material is really, really good quality, quality, and it has a latex interior. And the little strap around it just adds like extra compression to your waist, AKA Coca-Cola bottle shape. It made me feel really, really sexy, guys. But most importantly, it kind of helped, not kind of, it helped me stand up straight like i was standing up very straight very confident now don't get it twisted it is very tight when you put it on for the first time and what weight will let you know that at first it will be very tight but with proper dieting and and proper exercising you will slim down and it's going to promote 
sweat it's gonna promote you to sweat so you will slim down and then it will get looser as time goes on so that's the amazing thing but i actually really enjoyed mine being tight but then again it still wasn't as tight as i thought it would be i got a size 4x and it fit really really good i liked it and it didn't roll up in the back a lot of these waistbands that i have tried on in the past because i got a big booty it rolls up in the back and i cannot stand that but this one stayed on perfectly the entire time throughout my workout i was expecting to see so much sweat however i don't sweat that much i'm just not a sweater so i didn't sweat as much as i wanted to but that's i'm used to that however when i took off the waistband i did notice that the inside of the waistband was wet i was like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i still got my sweat on so that was really really exciting for me and i just can't wait to use it again i can't wait to go to the gym and use it again now with all of that said I'm not gonna come up here and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be at the gym four times a week. I'm gonna be at the gym seven days a week, two hours a day, no. <laughs> That's not happening, right? But I can commit to two times out the week. I can um, start off with going to the gym two times out the week and I could, um, and if I only go once, out of the way baby at least i've done something it's a start right oh and i'm also going to be doing intermittent fasting i know you've heard of intermittent fasting before and the reason why i chose intermittent fasting without keto i'm not looking up how to do no keto diet i ain't doing none of that stuff i don't want to start anything new okay because i already am so busy with school and so focused on school i'm not adding no extra keto diet or whatever other diet that's out there all i'm doing is intermittent fasting i have done that in the past and it has and it was successful and it's just so simple you just choose certain eating hours that you want to eat and certain hours that you do not want to eat but you're fasting and you're only drinking water i am doing the eight hour eating and the 16 hour fasting um, I'm not changing my diet up too much because like I said, I don't eat bad, you know what I mean? So I'm not changing my diet up too much. I love fruit, so I already eat fruits and vegetables, brown rice, you know what I'm saying? I do all that. So um, the only thing that, that I really need to add is my waistband because y'all know I don't play about my waist at my waistband and working out i remember in my last video i said that i want to get liposuction on my tummy area i still do don't get it twisted but what i've noticed that a lot of girls who have gotten liposuction that um that record their journey for us here on youtube have been going through some shit. like they've been having all kind of hospitalization and sickness and close to death experiences with their liposuction and i believe that the reason why they're having all of that is because they're not working out and they're not eating right they're just looking at the liposuction as a quick fix you know but a few years ago when i went to get a consultation about liposuction they advised me to lose weight they advised me to get on a healthy diet because your body will um heal faster and better when you are smaller and when you also are on a healthy diet and exercise regimen because your body is then stronger to fight against all that trauma that the liposuction will do to you so yeah you know that's another good reason why i am going to be working out and who knows maybe in the end of this all i won't even um need liposuction anymore who knows who knows you know what i'm saying um i want to get at least to 200 pounds um i still want to be plus size i still want to be thick i don't want to be super small I, I don't think that'll look good on me but um yeah i just wanted to come and talk to you guys let you guys know this new journey i'm on Cause I want you to hold me accountable. I will be doing monthly updates. I ain't doing no weekly updates guys because I already vlog daily for school and I upload any other videos that I feel that is necessary for my channel. So I'm definitely not gonna do weekly updates. I will be doing monthly updates on this. So I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for picking up the phone and listening to me um vent. <laughs> And letting you guys know uh, something new that I will be embarking on. 
and i will talk to you guys next time give me a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed this video leave me some comments down below talk to me let me know how you feel you know say whatever you want to say but if you talk too much shit <laughs> i will block the block 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 that butt okay see you guys next time bye it's the truth you can't